Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to Taking Trades. I'm glad you stopped by. In today's video, we gotta talk about what's going on with UGAS and natural gas futures. Do you have the same question that I do? Can UGAS go to $0 per share? Well, stay tuned to this video because I'm gonna answer that question. Today, we're gonna talk about UGAS, DGAS, and the natural gas futures market. We're gonna talk about what's going on today specifically. We're also gonna jump into the charts. We're gonna get into the technical levels and why things are moving the way they are. We'll briefly touch on the weather because that's always kind of in our mix. And then if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm gonna get into whether or not UGAS could actually go to $0 per share. And then in addition to that, I'm gonna talk about whether or not a reverse split could save the day. Don't know what a reverse split is? Stay tuned and we'll get into it. Here we go. Okay, so first of all, I wanna jump into the forecast. I'm looking at natgasweather.com. It's kind of my go-to. I typically do that for videos when I show you guys different weather maps and things. So I thank them for their content because it's fantastic. But if you look at the 15-day low temperature forecast, it's kind of interesting to look at this and I'm gonna show you what's going on in terms of a quick warming that we're gonna see. You know, this down here, if you look at this last sentence of November 27th through December 3rd, it says, Overall demand is going to be moderate today, and then it's going to increase to high through early next week. So you see these maps. If you look over here, you can see we get some cooling. We shift down to the 20s. We've got this big cold mass in the west, and then we get really cold. We've got some single digits, a lot of teens. We're getting some mid to upper 20s. And so that's that cool down there talking about where demand is going to come in and be high. And, but then, as we go from the teens and the low digits, all of a sudden, boom, we, it kind of clears out. The 20s start to move into the west a little bit, and then we pop, and now all of a sudden, we're 20s all over the place. Kind of a warm-up that we're seeing right here, moving into next week, like they said. So the description up here, they're talking about how high pressure will return across the western, central, and southern U.S. mid-next week with highs warming into the 50s to the 70s for a much lighter demand. So we're gonna get the higher demand short term and then lower demand long term, which can be very bad for us if you're trading UGAS and natural gas to the long side because again, we're looking out to that further forecast for reflection in price right now. So just kind of an interesting contrast to see those cold temperatures followed by a quick pickup and burst back up into the 20s where almost that cold purple pocket that was sitting on the west sort of lightened and cleared out which is very significant and should have a significant effect on our UGAS and DGAS trades. Okay so as we all know we had some very interesting price action in forward slash NG today as well as being reflected in UGAS and I want to get into that and talk specifically about what's going on because we just saw an all-time historic low in both natural gas and in UGAS. So it's significant, we need to talk about it. Let's jump into the charts right now and let's break it all down. Okay everyone, welcome to Crazy Town. Here's forward slash NG F20. This is natural gas futures. This is the January 2020 chart. I've got it up on the daily time frame, and I think the big candle right in front of you speaks for itself. Massive, massive sell-off. So causing this is the weather. We're seeing the models, European models. We're seeing bespoke weather service coming out and talking about how the swings to the warm side and the cool side, things have just been up and down and all over the place, causing a lot of uncertainty. And now we're breaking through historic levels, support levels that send it lower. Once you break a level and warmer weather is still indicated, things become more dramatic and things fall further. So that's what we're seeing here today with this dramatic fall. And unfortunately, it's it's kind of a holiday. You know, we have Thanksgiving, which I hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving. But then you come into Friday, we have a shortened day trading, and things just fall off a cliff. So very significant event today. As you can see, this is historic 2.27. We've never seen it before. Natural gas at its lowest price ever. So with that, Let's talk about what this means. Let's look at UGAS and DGAS, and let's try to make sense of all this, and then we're gonna get into the reverse split and the possibility of UGAS going to $0 per share, so stay tuned for that. So we've broken through our major support level, 
which we've been talking about for a few days, as we push down into it, we were seeing that it was re being respected by this candle because it showed that lower wick. And then we had this one come out. But when I shot the video, we were still holding on this lower band. And then by the close of that session, it dropped even further into that the end of that day. Now we're opening up on Friday, continuing lower, but massively lower. The one bright side I'm seeing right now, and it's very small uh, silver lining, is that we are showing a lower wick, showing that the market is buying up these lows. I do think that people are now coming in and saying, okay, all-time historic lows, I'm going to come and bring some money to the market. I'm going to get in now because we're extremely, extremely oversold, and I'm guessing they're counting on a little bit of a bounce back um, off the bottoms here. But let's go over, let's look at you guys, and let's see what's happening today looking at this specifically. We're just getting huge gap downs, and you know we kind of had these levels in here, and I'm going to draw one of our levels. We had sort of looked at not an exact price level, but a range kind of around that line I just drew, and now you can see we've broken below it. It's acted as overhead resistance, and now we've just gapped down again. So now we have a gap. We have an overhead resistance level here and here to work with, and that's going to possibly hold us down. But we're at $9.20 a share on UGAS, and if I back this out, that's historic. We've never been this low. So it starts to beg the question of you know, anyone who's trading this right now, who's down really big, is probably saying, can this go to zero? Can you guys, can a leveraged ETF actually go to zero? Well, we're going to talk about that here in just a second. But let's flip over and let's look at DGAS. I did get some comments. Some of the subscribers had gotten into DGAS, and I think someone specifically mentioned about holding it over the weekend through the holiday. So if you did, I really hope that you took some profit today because this was a quite a pop. This broke some significant overhead resistance levels being sort of in here. Now that we're up over that, I don't know, DGAS is looking looking really nice in terms of the weather forecast that's out on the horizon being a little bit warmer. Things just don't look favorable right now for natural gas. So with that being said, let's look at forward slash NGF20 one last time. And I wanna actually go into the daily chart. I'm gonna go to the five minute time frame just to take a look at it real quick. I haven't looked at this yet today, but here's Friday and my goodness, just constant breakdown. Every five minute candle, really what this is is selling. People are, are selling into this and then these little pullbacks are just profit taking. We fall lower, a little bit of profit taking. We go lower, a little bit of profit taking. We go lower, they're just repeating it. It's just absolutely, absolutely getting crushed today. So. We are now seeing this big push back to the upside, and that could be an indication of people saying, you know what, we're at a supply zone, this has gone low enough, buyers are now coming back to the market, so I have to keep a close eye on that. I'm gonna also go to the 15 minute chart. My goodness, it's just, it's just been hammered today. So I don't know what this means moving forward in terms of how much lower it could go right now, or if it's gonna fully rebound, respect this and move higher. But I do want to jump into talking about if it could, in fact, go to $0 per share. So let's do that. All right. So talk to me. Jump down in the comments real quick. Tell me what you think about you guys possibly going to zero. Do you think it can happen? And then I'm going to give you my opinion here. So real quick, just jump down. Let me know what you think and what your thoughts are. So here are my thoughts. No, I don't think you guys can go to zero. I don't think that that is possible in a realistic scenario. What's going to possibly happen, and I'm going to look at some historic stuff here, but I think what's going to happen is Credit Suisse is going to take a look at you guys and they're going to end up issuing a reverse split. Now, a reverse split is when you take a number of shares and you reduce the amount, the total number of shares gets reduced, but the price per share goes up. So this is a very simple basic example. Let's say you have 100 shares of a stock, we'll just call it XYZ, and they do a reverse split. Well, the first question you need to ask is, what is the ratio of the reverse split? The ratio just means what number of shares are gonna be reduced by what number of times. So if you say we have a one 
to 10 ratio reverse split, or they'll call it a 10 to one. That just means you're gonna take your 100 shares, and for each 10 shares, you're gonna reduce that to one. So that means your 100 shares that you own of company XYZ is gonna reduce to 10 total shares, but let's say your share price is only $10 when you have your 100 shares. When it gets reverse split down to 10 shares, your price is gonna go up tenfold. So your price per share will go from $10 to $100. And I actually had this happen to me quite a few years ago. I had um, a number of shares. I went through the reverse split and then all of a sudden I got up one morning and there was news out about a reverse split and my share size was way up. And at first I thought the stock had gone way up in share price and I got super excited. But then I realized my number of shares had been cut by 10 times divided by 10. So 100 becomes 10 and the price will also reflect that and go up by 10. So from $10 up to $100. Now, with this being said, I wanna show you an article I found about the last time that you guys went through a reverse split. I find it interesting. It might provide some more information, shed a little bit of light on this situation, and also just make you feel a little better about the fact that, that no, I don't think we're gonna to go to $0 per share with you guys. So let's take a look at that article. All right, so I've got this article up, uh, PRN, or I'm sorry, prnewswire.com. And don't worry, I'm gonna put this article link in the description below so you guys will have access to it. But as you can see, this was dated December 13th of 2017. Talking about Credit Suisse, uh, they're announcing today that it'll implement a one for 10 reverse split of its velocity shares three times long natural gas ETN, which is you guys as we all know it. Expected to be effective as of December 20th, 2017. So right there. That's your date. And it says that the reverse split will be effective at the open of the trading day on December 20th. And it goes on to say down here that the closing value of UGAS on December 19th, 2017 will be multiplied by 10 to determine its reverse split adjusted closing indicative value. So that's what we're looking at. UGAS reverse split multiplied by 10 to get its one for 10 reverse split. So that's basically all it's gonna mean. It's going to just split the shares up, it's gonna compile them into one, 10 will move to one, the price will go up by 10 times, and then basically your account value will stay unchanged. So if you had $10,000 worth of UGAS and you went through the reverse split, your, your account value is still gonna be $10,000, you're just gonna have 10 times fewer shares that are worth 10 times more. So I'll link this article so you guys can take a look at it. And another article I wanted to show you guys just in case you're, you're uncertain on what the reverse split is and you want more information. I have this article by Investopedia and it's just titled, What Are Reverse Stock Splits? This gets into a lot of really good information. I'm gonna link this in the description below so you guys can read through it and um, learn as much as you can about them because they are very tricky and they come at interesting times and everybody should know about them. So. Hope this video was helpful. Hope Thanksgiving was awesome. Hope you ate a lot and we'll see you next time.